All right. Run into children's lessons. Hey, Mia. Come on, you guys. Yeah, have a seat, Luke. So what do I have here? Pictures. Pictures, right? Not just any pictures. Pictures of, somebody tell me. Pictures of? My family. Exactly. Why would I have pictures of my family? What do you think? Does your family have pictures of you? Are there pictures of you in your house? Yes. Are there? Did your mom or dad carry around pictures of you on their phone? Or maybe in their, in their, maybe your grandparents have it in their wallet or something like that, too old and archaic like that, right? You know, or maybe picture albums or things like that, right? Do you know why they have pictures of you? Because they are very proud of you. And they love you very much, right, Faith? Right? What are you going to say about pictures? Somewhere special to get pictures? Yeah. And then, and then you put those pictures up in very special. These are special pictures of my family. This is a picture of my family this past Christmas. We're all in our PJs because we've just opened our Christmas presents. That's a fun picture there. Or this is a picture of us getting our Christmas tree this year. We went and we cut down our own Christmas tree this year. And so these pictures are very special to me because I'm very proud of them. Did you listen real close as Pastor Ron read the lesson? When Jesus was being baptized, God the Father said something. He said, this is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased. You see, if God the Father had a picture album, Jesus would be in that picture album, wouldn't he? Because he loves Jesus very, very much. And in fact, that happens when Jesus was baptized. When you were baptized, God says, you are my son, you are my daughter, you are precious to me, I love you, I am well pleased with you. And so we can know that for sure, that God truly, truly loves us, and baptism is one of the ways that shows us. But let me ask you something. Have you ever had a picture taken of you where you said, oh, I don't like that picture very well? You ever had one of those? Okay, you guys are pretty young, so you don't get them so much. Ever had a picture like that, adults? Oh, my God, don't show anybody that picture, right? Sometimes the picture of us is not a very good picture, right? We don't always act like we're children of God. We don't always talk like that. We say things we shouldn't say. We do things that we shouldn't do. Sometimes a picture of us is one that we wish we could just tear up and throw away. But you know what? That's why Jesus came. Jesus came to be our savior. He died for us, not because we we're always good people. He died for us because we're sinners and we need him to come and die for us. That's why God is so pleased with him because he, he comes and he saves us. He makes it so that we can be forgiven by God and so that we can go with heaven. So we can always know when we come to God that he says, you are my precious child. With you, I am well pleased. That's some pretty good news, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Let's pray. Let's ask God's help with that. Dear God, we thank you that Jesus came, that you were pleased with him because he gave the perfect sacrifice for us. Thank you, Lord, that you are pleased with us. We don't deserve that, but you give that to us as a free gift. Help us, Lord, to live each day like we're your children. Forgive us for the times that we don't and, and lift us up again that your light would shine through us. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, you can go back.